Let's take a look at Drawbox lesson four, where the subjects are all things creepy crawly. Now, the videos in this lesson are a lot older than the previous lessons. The intro is seven years old, and so are many of the demos, which is quite noticeable, as there are some deviations in the teaching style in this lesson compared to the previous. Now, I went into the intro video thinking, bloody hell, 43 minutes, but it does have a lot of really good info, reinforcing ideas about constructional drawing and learning. It was actually really interesting as well to actually learn about insects. For example, he talks about the anatomy of insects and how they are quite similar despite looking so freakishly different. So they all have a head, a thorax and an abdomen. And we just need to figure out the shape of those and how everything else fits together on our page. Drawing something I wouldn't usually draw, like head lice, for example, uh, really made me think about the different parts of the body that I was drawing and how they all related to each other, which I think can be used universally across anything you're drawing. The first two pages you saw before the wasps are warm-up pages where you are just practicing these sausage forms or organic shapes he calls them which are going to be used a lot in this lesson. Just like other lessons you start with mapping out the simple shapes and then defining the form to create the creature on the page. He used a sculpting analogy which I really liked. So imagine you're putting down the shape as if it's a lump of clay and then you're carving out the form from that foundation. Similar to the last lesson, when trying to do the demos, I was really trying to stop myself from copying his drawing rather than drawing from the reference image. I, I don't know why, I just find it really distracting seeing someone else draw, but I need to watch them draw to, to sort of figure out how to do it, if that makes sense. But I need to draw it myself without copying them. Anyway, I think I enjoy and learn more drawing from the references I have found rather than following along to the demos. But I think the demos are still a really important part of the learning process. I just find drawing from them a little bit more frustrating. I will say the quality of the videos is a little bit lower, probably just because they're older. For example, in one, he skips forward by just revealing the next layer of the drawing rather than actually drawing it on camera for you, which I, I personally find less helpful than actually what watching him draw it. Um, I did notice as well a comment on one of the videos where someone else had picked up on this. I think I'm, I'm just really not a big fan of the here's the one I made yesterday style video. Um, I really like to actually see the drawing process or a sped up version of it. I find that much more helpful. These insects are a more complex subject than the plants of the previous lesson three, so a few more detailed demos would have been appreciated. The black widow spider and the housefly demos have no audio, however they do have have a step-by-step -step walkthrough which is helpful. Uh, the scorpion demo is, is just a video uh, but at least there's audio. So overall the consistency of the quality of the learning material in these videos it, it's just it's just variable like it is with lesson three. Now, don't get me wrong I am glad it's here. I think it's fantastic. I would recommend this to anyone who wants to learn to draw. I'm just letting you know that it's a little bit harder to follow along with some of these videos than some of the previous videos. We just have to use a bit more of our own brain power when we're practicing basically. Progression wise I think moving from plants to insects is a very nice way to level up that difficulty. It felt really appropriate when I actually got into it. It did look a bit overwhelming to begin with but once I really got going I really began to enjoy drawing these creatures. When drawing these something else I found really helpful to remember which has been mentioned a few times in a number of his videos is you're not trying to replicate this specific insect. Imagine it, it's a it's a person you're not trying to replicate this specific person you're trying to replicate an insect or a human for example of of that type it doesn't have to be perfect you're learning how to construct that subject on the page and i think i'm beginning to realize learning this way of drawing could actually be really helpful in the future particularly if you're trying to rotate the subject you're drawing or change the angle of some of the limbs or something like that because by learning to draw this way with whatever you're drawing you you still kind of understand where those parts of the body should be in relation to other parts of the body if that makes sense so it should be easier to actually rotate the body because you know this bit connects to this bit for example so i'm i'm hoping that that develops a bit more in the future or i'm going to try i think to draw more that way i like how the videos in this lesson did introduce different drawing techniques maybe because they're a bit older so you're kind of seeing the way how 
how uncomfortable Teach is has developed over time, but he adds in shadows to a lot of the demos, center lines, different ways of drawing limbs, for example. He just draws slightly different to some of the newer videos, which gives you a few new tools for your drawing toolbox essentially i do feel like i've been a little bit critical here and i don't mean to be i really do think drawbox is brilliant but if you go into it just be mindful the later lessons may be a little bit more challenging as the subject matter is harder and the quality of the teaching in the videos is a little bit lower as for my personal experience of doing this lesson i really liked it but i had to keep reminding myself not to just go off and do my own thing the way i usually would i had to focus on what was being taught and why we were drawing this way in these lessons rather rather than just trying to do my own thing. Like I mentioned, she's like, I really wanted to add color. I really missed color. I so badly just wanted to splash some yellow on the bumblebee and flesh out the butterfly wings with the colors that they really deserve. But I know that these lessons aren't about making a nice drawing. They are about learning how to draw. So thank you for watching. I really hope you give Drawbox a try and you will see me in the next one.